Welcome everyone, if you're here. If you have joined my channel because of my videos of oriental fragrances, cheap but great fragrances, then you might want to see this video because I'm going to be talking about Oud 24 Hours by Ard Al Zafran. I know this fragrance has been released for a while now. I know I missed the hype train for it. But even so, I know there are still people out there, like I was, who are still undecided whether to purchase this or not. And this video might help you decide in the end if you want to have this in your collection. Again, like I said, it has been released for a while, but even today, even after a couple of years, this fragrance is still top 3 releases from the house of Arlo Zafron. It is actually the fragrance with which this brand has become popular. The bottle with which U24 Hours comes, it is very solid. The cap, I have to say, when you watch reviews with this fragrance, you are going to think that this cap is metal and it is very heavy. It is not. It is like middle weight heavy and this is not actually metal. But this black band around it. It is rubber and it has a nice feel to it. The bottle itself, it's made very well and I have to say that from all the brands, all the bottles coming from the brands in the Middle East, the ones from Ardal Zafran have not let me down. I mean, there's no peeling off, there's no breaking, there's no leaking. I really like them. Okay, so how the fragrance smells. Of course, if you know this fragrance, you already know this is a clone. It is super obvious that this is a clone, indeed, of Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And yes, there is no doubt. The question is, is it a good clone or is it even better? I'm not gonna go through the notes. That's something you can do for yourself. I'm here to actually make you understand how the fragrance smells and to tell you more a bit if you if it's worth buying or not but the notes are actually another hint that this is indeed a clone of tom ford's black orchid because the notes are very similar so the fragrance opens up with a dark chocolate and orange combination if you have ever eaten dark chocolate with bits of orange you know what i'm talking about it is that kind of smell but it is more sweet it also has vanilla but this fragrance also has from the opening until the end it is a slight powdery effect if you know how black orchid smells you know that that fragrance is very powdery and it's very loud with the powder as the fragrance dries down the note of black orchid comes up and the notes of dark chocolate and especially orange are toning down so you're getting more black orchid more vanilla and the slight powdery effect which for the people who don't like it unfortunately it will stay until the end but again the good news is and this is where i'm gonna say it I prefer this fragrance over Black Orchid just because it is not that loud and this is to you Mr. Tom Ford not always when a fragrance it is very loud it is not always that good this fragrance has the right amount of strength just enough to make you and the people around you smell it to get a nice smell out of it and not to become too overwhelming, too overpowering, and too disturbing. And then in the dry down, the fragrance has a lot of orchid and a lot of vanilla and that powdery effect. It is pretty linear, it doesn't change too much, it is just this transition from the opening to the dry down. And the lasting power is very good. I am getting a good 12 hours with it and projection is also very good i mean it is enough you're getting enough what is also worth mentioning because when you actually see the title of this fragrance oud 24 hours 
you are and it's right to think that this fragrance must have oud in it right and yes the note of oud it is mentioned but it is probably just marketing because the oud in this fragrance is almost non-existent this is a fragrance that costs around 11 12 pounds and it is very strong very close very close to tom ford's black orchid but of course since this fragrance was released and until today there have been released many other clones of black orchid but still this is one of the best when to wear this fragrance of course this time of the year when it's getting cold outside i did buy this fragrance last year almost during this time but i had other fragrances to review i lost the right moment to review this fragrance of course it was not appropriate to review it during summer so i waited until now and there it is let me know what you think about this and the, to the people who have decided now after this review let me know in the comments what made you decide that you want to buy this fragrance or you don't want to buy it either way until the next video keep smelling great